Hello, my friends. So this is the first layout I want to work on for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And I am working with the gorgeous Great Outdoors theme kit. Now I do know what papers I wanna start with. I want to start with this incredibly gorgeous Gone Camping journaling cards paper from Cartabella, that Cartabella texture, y'all know what I mean. And then the other one, which is no surprise if you know me at all, is a wood grain. I will scrap with a wood grain all day, every day. It is amongst my faves. So I want this to be my background. Now I know that this is something in the foreground. I know that. See, I know what I know, but I don't know where I wanna go with it. Now this was the cut file that was included in this kit. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. We have a couple bears, mountains, and piney type trees, right? Now this is the paper that comes with that cut file. It's a nice nubby, kind of a, kind of a bone color, kind of. The photo I want to use is this one. This is my daughter and her boyfriend, Nick, and they're at Red Rocks in Colorado. And how awesome is that? Now, when you go ahead and look at this paper right here with the denim that, that she is wearing and he's wearing navy blue, this paper looks gorgeous. So I know I want it on there, but wait, there's more. I also know that I want to play with this milk paint because I find it to be very, very cool. Now you're supposed to mix one part water with two parts of powder, but I wanted to experiment a wee bit. So I thought I would just go ahead and experiment with you and see what happens if we mix milk paint with some glaze. And this is an iridescent glaze. The reason why I thought I'd go iridescent glaze with it, A, I have it, but, um, ooh, it's stuck. But because I thought I might get a little bit of a sparkly vibe with it, and I thought that could be kind of cool. So, not really sure what I where I'm going to put it. Oh, oh, and I have, oh, but wait, this right here is what I was gonna put the glaze through. This is a stencil that came with the kit. And this is the only time I'll know what the stencil is called because I never keep these. I keep them for like doing mixed media kind of stuff on, but that's about it. Okay, let's get a nice little lap of glaze. Great, iridescent glaze, done. Now let's see what happens. Let us see if we put a nice amount of this milk paint in. Now my glaze is already pretty thick. I was just really curious to see how this would mix. My glaze is thick, so I might have to add a little bit of water in here. Oh, but this is looking really, really cool. I'm getting like a metallic, almost taupe out of it. Okay, I'm liking this idea. I am very happy with this idea. Now, let me see. I don't have my water right next to me. Hold on one second, I'm gonna get a little water. All right, so I'm adding just a little water to see what that'll do. And I'm not trying to make it sloppy because I do want this to be textural. See, this is what happens when I decide to experiment, you know, rather live, okay. Oh, and I'm mixing it just on the piece of the packaging from the cut file. All right, let's see what happens. I wanna get the water out of the way because I know I'll make a mess. Now, I know I'm gonna want the photo here-ish. So I want the mixed media coming to the sides of it. I think I know what I'm thinking in my head. Don't know how it's going to translate. We're going to find out. Okay, let's hold it down and just see how things go. And I'm not trying to give myself super smooth lines because I happen to know I will never make a perfect line. So I don't try to do it on purpose or I try not to do it on purpose. Oh, guys, guys, look. 
look at how cool that looks. I've got an iridescent, kind of a taupey cocoa thing going on. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I knew that was gonna end up there, so I'm gonna go, let's see, picture. All right, same thing. You get some of my glazed milk paint that I came up with. Photo will be here-ish, so I can start here-ish. Okay, I am so loving the way this looks. So, in the event that you happen to have some iridescent glaze on hand, or any glaze, this is very cool because the milk paint has this really great flat texture to it, and it's a gorgeous, like, brown shade without being too dark. It's, it, I'm telling you, it reminds me of hot cocoa. So I'm doing this, fanning it out a little bit, you know, doing the whole imperfect bit because I can't make it perfect. Because I think the whole layout I'm doing will be right around here. But I have to be sure before I let this dry up. So I'm gonna have this here, this here. Maybe I will do a little tiny one up, up here-ish. That would be fun. All right, so let me get this off and I will do a little one up top to build a cluster up top. I know you're getting a glare right there, but that's the only way I can think to do this and be able to have it run off. And see, I don't wanna waste any product. I hate wasting product. So if I can use it just a little bit more, I will. So I'm gonna create just a little cluster bit up here. And I have things to do for the next little bit. So I'm going to leave this to dry and I will come back with you and scrapbook the next bits when it does. And I'm gonna go clean my stencil. So I'll have the photo right in between here and a cluster going up there. That's as far as I know so far. Let's let this dry and we'll come right back. All right, my friends, let me show you where I got. So this piece of paper right here, this wood grain, I trimmed off a half inch on each side gutted this gorgeous cartabella out because I wanted to have a border and I also wanted to use it around my photo. Now I print my photos with a white border to start. Then I went ahead and used that gorgeous cartabella and then I used a piece of the off-white cardstock that came with our cut file. So that's where that is so far. Now I know I'm gonna attach this directly down to the page and I really wanna use this cut file for this. But what I'm thinking of doing is bringing in a little bit of the blue vibe to start with this right here, this piece. It is a gorgeous border sticker and it's going to give my trees a nice little place to rest on the bottom of this. So I just have to decide, do I want any wood grain? Oh, I do. Okay, I do. That decision has now been made. So I'm ishing. We are ishing in the wood grain. I just need to find my detailed scissors, which I cannot find because I'm looking for them. Ah, they're in my face. And I'm gonna give myself a nice little cut, maybe right here. Does that look about right? Yeah, close enough. It's good. Okay, so now I have a place for my little trees to rest and I'm gonna just very lightly tack them down just in a couple places so that I can easily put things under them if I would like. Let me hide these little stickery bits. Let me hide these stickery bits. So guys, which kit did you guys like the most this month? We had four. We had our main kit, which we all know is one of the most gorgeous things in the history of time. And then we had our th three theme kits. And I was really excited when I saw this one be and I asked to actually be able to design with it. And they were ever so kind and said, absolutely. So that was cool. All right, I wanna go like that. So these little guys are stuck down only on these end pine trees. Now I should just go ahead and stick this photo in because we do know where it's gonna go. So we're gonna shimmy that in. 
under some of the mountains. And you see how nice this is? We get this little shimmer going right here. With Remember, I glazed, I used um, iridescent glaze and mixed it with milk paint, tiny bit of water, and just went for it and slapped it on. And I like it. I think it's adding, you know, because my background doesn't have enough going on, clearly. But it is adding a lovely bit of extra goodness in there. All right. I have border. I have this nice blue, bringing in the blue that he is wearing, which makes me feel slightly like I want to pull it up just a little bit more so you can see more slightly. So let me get this out again. I wanted to be able to see the blue, but not have it in the dead center of the page. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what goodies we have. I have you know what, in the main kit, I do have some black alphas and I might use some of them, I'm not sure. And I have these gorgeous ones. I have these off-white and I have brown as well, which these are gorgeous. Oh, and what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna write their names in the block of that. All right, let's work on the title. Okay, I'll be right back when I have it all ready. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and used liquid adhesive and put these cards, I'm sorry, chipboard alphas on their Heidi Swap, reads Red Rocks. And then with our little tile alphas, I wrote Shay and Nick. I didn't write it. I stuck them on for Shay and Nick. Now on the sticker sheet, this says the mountains call, mountain high, and my heart listens. And I really am digging that. So I think I'm going to line that right up there. And I keep wondering, do I pop that up a little bit? I need some dimension, so I better pop that up. Okay. And I have some of these things, these pop dots. I don't like them, not very much at all. But I am determined to use some of these things that I don't want in my scrappy space to pretty much get rid of them. Otherwise, if you're like me, you will never ever toss them. They will live with me forever and I'll just be irritated the whole time. So I am going to fight through. See, the reason I don't like them is I hate doing these, the peeling offy bits. If I didn't have to do the peeling off, I would be happy. And you guys don't wanna see me fight to peel it off, especially since I just cut my nails off again. Let's see, okay. So now we can have the mountain high. Once again, I wanted that right up to the edge on both sides there. Although I don't want it fully covering all that delicious mixed media. So let me move it over just a little bit. I love these little postage stamps we received and I'm more than certain that we received all different kinds considering the fact that see i like the point right there isn't that weird that i really want to show the point um considering the fact that these are like used postage stamps all right so don't really know what i'm doing there yet i was seeing what else i was liking on here no they weren't fishing like did i have much for green on here i can use this little compass bit and put that there that would be cool let me pop that up with just a piece of this foam stuff. I can put that up and bring the green coming down this way a little bit. That would be fun. Let's find north. North is probably where we're supposed to be going with that. All right, that's really cute. All right, so we have a little compassy deal. What else do I like in here? Now we have these little pine trees. I wonder if I should sneak these extra little pine trees in. Is that it? Oh, here's one more. Yeah, let's let's get, do we want to put them in dimensionally? Not put them in dimensionally? Yeah. You know, I'd like to put one up here too. All right, let's go ahead and sneak them in. And I know my hand's kind of in the way, but I want to get the green around the page, right? So there's one that green, green, and I can go like this. Okay. 
like the little tree is hanging out there. And let's give him a little bit of dimension as well. This is gonna be too wide. Keep all of these little tiny Frankenstein pieces of foam, the upper part of my desk right there, so I can do exactly what I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead and put those two little trees there, which now I'm happy I'm getting a cluster that I'm vibing. Cute, 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 cute. Look at how cute that is, and it's a couple of stickers. It's amazing that you don't need a ton to be loving something. All right, I wanna make sure if there's any, oh, I found another tree. Not that it was hiding, but I did wanna use all of these trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and put the second tree down here. And let me see, oh, it's so skinny. Go ahead and see if this works to cut out a little tiny tree shape. Almost, tiny bit too long. There we go. Cut out a little tree shape. And I could have some dimensional trees going that way, which makes me happier. Hold on, there we go. Hey, did you guys see that Tuesday morning filed bankruptcy and they are closing stores, but they're going to be trying to close, you know, the stores that aren't doing so well. And then they are planning on um, keeping other ones open. I saw that today on, on the media and I was like, yeesh, hope mine stays open. I mean, it always seems busy, but who knows, right? I don't work there. If I worked there, I would be broke. Okay. I am having the biggest struggle bus hiding this little tree. Okay. Let me use this to just get a tiny bit of adhesive on that little tree, on that little tree. I mean, on the little foams for the trees. Okay. I still feel like that's too big. All right. Tree, tree green, green. So we have green in here. Okay. Let's see if anything else. I literally just found another tree. I think they're growing as I do this. So I will put a little tree right in the front of Shay's name. Okay. We don't need fishing. I like wander. That's kind of cool. And oh dear is kind of hilarious. Let's see about Let's see where we can get, I can't really have it stick across the trees, but that's where I'd have it if I didn't have this die cut. I like that. Can I stick it underneath there? Like I'm losing my mixed media just because I like all the bits in here. Okay, I will resist. I will resist. This is one of those things that this layout came together so quickly and I'm trying to put more on it just because I have it and I don't really need to. Okay, fishing hole would be adorable, but it's not what they were doing. Ooh, I like that wilderness. Is there any place to stick wilderness? <laughs> I know there won't be, because Mountain High is already on the road. See, I mean, they travel to Colorado. How cool is that? Oh, I can put it right there. Oh, but my little bears will be all covered. Hmm. How do we do that? Because we love the little bears. It's covering a little bit of the bears. The bears are going to have to get a little covered. That's okay. We're gonna get through it. Okay, let's see. Got these little guys on. And then, oh, okay, so yeah, the Tuesday morning thing. So are they closing in your towns? Have you heard anything? They said we can find out at the local level with our own stores, is what it said on the release. I was like, yikes, it's a little scary. So should I put it up? Okay, I'll put it like that. So it's at the right level. So kind of part of that cluster, that's kind of a cluster, but it's all one with the photo block. And I'm thinking this is gonna get wrapped up way too quickly with the enamel dots. Look at the little hiking boots, those are cute. Little deer pop-up campers. 
I love these. Did you guys see? Look at that cute little pink one. Okay, so that's super awesome. Didn't need to use my cute wood rounds in here, but let's see what I have for some enamel dots. So I have a lot of this green going. So let's... Oh, and all of these enamel dots I bought from the store a la carte. Just so you know. Ooh, I like this deep blue. All right. So I tend to like to kind of half hide the really big ones under things. Just because some of them are honking. Like these aren't terribly big. Like I have had some that are just massive. These are not that bad. Oh, and this set that I'm using right here, it's from Echo Park Adventure Awaits. I'll go ahead and put that up by Nick's name. Let's see. Actually, this pack right here is a really good color match. Let's see. I really like the green. So let's have that be a part of this side of the cluster. Come on, little hand. There we go. That's a big one. We can bring in a little bit of the green right here to show that we're looking towards the title. And then we'll finish off on this side again with a cute little green. We have blue and green. And then let's see. I want, ooh, look at this. These are cream color. And I have the cream in here. I have cream and white, which is okay. All right, let's get one cream color little dot, bringing in a little white. We'll do a cream color little dot. Come on, little guy. Yeah, do not cut your nails and then scrapbook people. Not the best idea. And then I think I'll do one medium size one over here. You know what? Let me switch them out. Medium size over here. Little guy kind of going up like he's climbing. There we go. Am I happy and satisfied? I absolutely am. So here is what I came up with. Really love this one. Hope that you do too. You know, my photo is really great that my uh, daughter sent me got my mixed media in here with this. Do you see how you get some of the iridescent on there? So it's not just flat brown on top of the wood grain. So I have a tone on tone, but I am so digging it. And this die cut kind of took care of the entire layout. My journaling is just here nice and easy because I've done other uh, pictures from their time at Red Rocks. So that's it today, guys. I hope you really like it. I love this layout. It definitely has that wilderness kind of feel to it. And I will be back on the 17th with another layout for um, Not Just For Boys Kid Club. Bye-bye, friends.